Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be pushing to Ultimate Champion. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm just going to Princess the Bridge into these Zappies here and go for a log on the Zappies. Really nice that I hit the Night Witch there. Looks like he's going to be playing Golem with the Zappies, which is kind of weird, but going to be pretty hard because Zappies do reset the Mighty Miner, and Mighty Miner is the best counter in our deck to Golem, but I'm just going to go for my Barrel here on the corner. He also has Skeleton Army and Skeleton King. He might be playing like the weird golem graveyard deck. Gonna go for my princess here in the middle for the skeleton army and mighty miner for the skeleton king. I can't rocket the elixir collector in this because, well, obviously I don't have enough elixir and also it's too risky because I don't want to be down elixir at all. Well, I can be down an elixir, but I can't like rocket the pump and be down an elixir. I need to have stuff down. I'm just gonna go for a barrel here on the pump. Okay, gonna, oh, I tried to pop the ability there. He still has to defend my princess though, which is nice. He goes for the Skeleton Army. Just going to go for my Ice Spirit here on the Skeleton Army. He might even Golem in the back here. It'd be a pretty good play because he has the proper cycle. He has Golem and Zappies in hand, and he's also up a few Elixir. But maybe he'll pump again, try to be up even more Elixir, but I don't agree with that. Going to go for Goblins here at the bridge. See what he wants to do. Goes for Skeleton King. I'm just going to go for my Cannon here in the middle. And then he instantly goes for the Collector. I don't want to rocket it. I was thinking if I could rocket both of them, but it's still not worth it. I'd have to activate the king for it. Just going to go for princess here and then barrel on the tower. Force him to do something. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, it doesn't do anything, and I'm down a bunch of elixir. Nice. I'm just going to go for a mighty miner in the back here once I get about 10 elixir. I'm going to do it now. Okay. Goes for split zappies. These are really bad zappies. I'm going to block the zappies with my goblins. That was really bad. He lost. I'm going to go for my goblins here on the golem. And then I'm going to go for my cannon in the middle for the skeleton king. I'm going to go for my princess here to snipe the bats. I'm going to go for my log on the golem. I'm going to go for ice spirit, pull everything back. going to pop the ability, kill the night witch bats. I'm going to go for my goblins on the night witch. going to barrel. I'm back to log. Okay, I don't even need to log though because he didn't um, pop the skeleton king ability. going to go for log here on the skarmy. going to go for ice spirit at the bridge just to apply a bit of pressure. I'm going to goblins too. If he doesn't do anything, he's going to lose the whole tower. I don't think he'll defend it. Oh, he goes for Zappies. Nice. Those are so bad Zappies. Now I can just go for my Mighty Miner on the Golem. <laughs> just going to go for my Barrel here on the right. And then I'm going to go for my Ice Spirit plus Mighty Miner onto the Golem. And that's going to be game. I just need the Rocket to finish off the match. And I guess also defend for 15 seconds. Just going to go for my Cannon in the middle here. Just to defend the Skeleton King. going to pop the ability. Kill the Night Witch Bat. It's going to go for my Log here on the Golem. I mean, not on the Golem. On the Skelly King. And then I'm going to go for a Rocket to finish off the game. Very easy win there against this Golem player. He didn't really know what he was doing completely. If he just saved his Zappies for my Mighty Miner, he would have had a much easier time winning that game, but I'll take it. Nice win. Okay, I'm in the next game here against this guy. Just going to go for my Ice Spirit Barrel here. I know that this guy plays with Royal Giant, but I don't know which version of Royal Giant. Probably going to play the Broken one with Monk and like Archers. I'm just assuming here, but going to go for my Mighty Miner in the back here for the Royal Giant. Bro, Archie in the back second play. Nice. Um, I'm going to go for my goblins in front of the mighty miner just because he doesn't have log for it. And he probably going to fisherman. Yeah, he does fisherman. Just going to go for my princess here as well. Going to ice spirit to block the fisherman pull and freeze the RG plus Phoenix. Going to pop ability here. Knock back the Phoenix. Finish it off. Go for barrel here because he doesn't have log in cycle. Probably going to go for, oh, he goes goblins there. He's back to log now because he did the goblins. Going to go for my goblins to defend the fisherman. And I'm in a pretty good spot right now. He doesn't really have like great elixir just gonna go for my princess at the bridge on the right and then i'm gonna go for my ice spear here in the middle get my log ready okay i thought he was gonna archers um okay that's fine he's gonna ability to kill my princess i'm gonna barrel here oh he messed up the ability nice it's not gonna kill anything perfect that's gonna live he has to defend it again I'm gonna go for my mighty miner here on the monk forced up the fisherman perfect that was a really big mistake by him just kind of wasted the monk I'm gonna go for my ability here just want to make him defend it again I'm gonna go for my goblins here on the fisherman Nice. He'll probably just go for my log, uh, goblins on the Mighty Miner. I don't want to pre-log, though. Yeah, because he put them all the way over there, so I would have missed. That's good. Still up a little bit of elixir. Just going to go for a log on the goblins. Don't want to take any damage from them. This matchup is pretty tough just because he does have Monk. Having Monk with RG is such a hard push for me to stop just because Monk kills my cannon and it tanks for everything forever. Going to Princess Bridge here. Okay, goes for the archers. I'm just going to go for my ice spirit like this to fully counter the archers. If you do ice spirit like this, you can full counter archers with it, which is nice. Just going to go for my barrel here on the right. Try to force out the log. Okay, he's not going to do anything. He's just going to ignore it and go in. I'm going to goblins here. I'm going to go for my cannon. 
What? No, RG, stop pushing. No. The RG pushed the monk. Okay, he's, he's going to fisherman. Um, I'm going to go for a log, and then I'm going to go for my goblins. He's going to log again. No, he fireballs. Okay, I'm going to go for my cannon here. I'm going to go for my ice spirit as well. I took so much damage, but I guess I got a ton of damage too, actually. Just noticed that. I'm going to go for a barrel here on the right. And so if he RGs, then I can just go for goblins. Yeah, now he can't RG at the bridge. He has to do it in the back, which gives me some good time. Um, I'm going to go for my princess in the back here. Goes for goblins. Um, goes for RG back. Okay, I'm going to log on the right, and then I'm going to go for mighty miner in the back on the left. I'm going to need to rocket his fisherman. You always have to rocket fishermen if they RG the back and they put like an early fisher. Gonna go for my preemptive cannon. Gonna go for barrel here as well. I'm gonna go for a rocket on the fisher. Um, I don't think I hit the RG, but it doesn't really matter because the mighty miner is gonna kill the whole thing no matter what anyways. I'm gonna go for my princess here right away to snipe the archers. He can't get the monk ability in time. I'm gonna log kill the archers too. I'm gonna pop ability just to kill the monk. Nice. Gonna go for my ice spear here. Gonna go for my cannon on the RG. Then I'm gonna go for my barrel on the tower because I know he won't log on my goblins if i put them and i don't need to put them so there's no point um i just need to cycle two rockets i'm gonna wait and then i'm gonna rocket i don't want i just don't want him to monk block it i'm gonna go for my princess in the middle here and then i'm gonna go for my ice spear on the fisherman and then i think i could rocket the tower here you're just gonna rocket all the way over here don't want him to predict it you'll probably go for one more rg push but i'm gonna defend easily i'm gonna go for my goblins with mighty at the bridge right away because he wants rg i'm gonna barrel just to pressure while defending i'm gonna go for my ice spirit here on the rg I'm going to let the monk push it back. I don't care. I just need to rocket the tower, and I want to do it as quick as possible. Um, RG is obviously not going to take my tower. Obviously, if I needed to, I would have went for the log on the RG, but I didn't need to log on the RG, so there's no point because then I just put my rocket slower. So nice win there. Really hard matchup, but I managed to beat him pretty easy, I feel like. Okay, I'm in the next game here against Sharabe. Just going to go for my Ice Spear at the bridge. See what he has. Okay, he has Archer Queen. Just going to go for my Princess in the middle for the Queen. Um, I'm going to go for my log on the Archer Queen as well. Not many people are playing Queen right now, so I don't really know what he has. I'm going to go for my Goblins on the Archer Queen as well, last second. Always want to time that right so your cards don't die. Really unfortunate that I didn't catch the Miner with my Mighty Miner, so Princess is going to die. But I'm going to go for my Barrel here on the right. Probably has Log. Oh, he's playing Miner Cycle. Could be playing, um, probably playing Miner Mortar though. Goes for Archer Queen. I'm going to go for my Princess in the middle here. Kill the Queen again. Um, okay, not bad, though. I can just go for my Ice Spirit again, force out the Archer Queen ability, and then I can go for my Goblins. Oh, I don't even need to go for my Logger Goblins. Perfect. Um, this is a pretty bad matchup, no matter what he has, even if he has Mortar, just Minor Poison, Minor Wall Breakers with a Queen for no reason. Um, it's just gonna be bad no matter what. I'm gonna split my Goblins here, then I'm gonna go for my Barrel right away. One out cycle the Log. Oh, he has Royal Delivery. <laughs> really unfortunate but that means he doesn't have mortar which is good i guess um but this is still a really bad matchup gonna go for my log here because i want to go opposite lane from him gonna go for my mighty miner by the way by on saturday i'll upload my log bait guide M maybe friday evening either friday evening or saturday evening i'll upload my log bait guide i have it completely finished um so i'll have it out then i just want to upload it on a weekend because it's going to be pretty long so i want to give you guys as much time as possible to watch it which is why i'm choosing to upload it on like a weekend kind of thing um, just gonna go for my Ice Spirit here in the middle for his Ice Spirit. Gonna go for my Barrel here on the right as well. Okay, goes for the Log. Probably just snipe my Princess with the Queen. Yep. Okay, gonna go for my Log on the Archer Queen here. Then I'll go for my Mighty Miner on it. Wanna wait. Okay, goes for the Ability. Perfect. Gonna kill the Queen as well. I'm um, gonna Princess Bridge. Gonna go for Goblins. Nice, I caught the Miner. Gonna go for Barrel as well. Okay, you can just log on that, unfortunately. Oh, it goes for Goblins, Ice Spirit. I get one hit. Nice. I'm going to go for my log there on the Goblins. Got some decent chip damage. I'm up in damage somehow. I'm going to go for my Princess all the way over here. Do not want to give him any kind of poison value. going to Ice Spirit. going to go for Goblins. Oh, I think that's going to catch anyway because of my Spirit. Perfect. going to Barrel and then Mighty Miner. going to Princess immediately. <laughs> what was that? Poison. <laughs> nice. Okay, wait. I'm going to log on the Goblins. Nice. I get an extra hit from that. Perfect. Let's go. I'm up 1,000 now. Okay, I'm in a really, really good spot. I shouldn't lose from here. I'm going to Ice Spirit here for the Miner. Okay, going to go for my Goblins. Only taking one hit. I want to try to have my Ice Spirit as much as possible now for the Miner. I'm going to Rocket on the Tower here because he just did a Naked Poison. Okay, this is really, really good for me. I'm um, just going to go for my Princess at the Bridge. He's not predicting anything in the middle, so may as well get one shot. I'm going to go for my Barrel as well because he's going to want to go for Miner. I'm going to go for Low Cannon and Ice Spirit because he wants to go in for a Miner. Perfect. going to go for Mighty Miner on the Queen. 
only taking two minor shots, not bad. Maintaining a really big lead, and then I can just rock it on the tower here because he doesn't have Archer Queen in hand and he just poisoned my tower. Always want to rock it when they have no Queen in hand. Gonna log and then go for my Goblins for the minor. Perfect, caught it again. Gonna go for my... I'm not even gonna barrel, honestly. I'm just... Eh, I should, because he, he used log. I'm gonna Princess as well. Now I can go for a retargeting Mighty Miner on the Queen. Nice, that, that's rocket range. Perfect, okay. He's in rocket range, so I can just rock at the tower in once I get 6 Elixir. Very easy win there against another really hard matchup. Like, I should win for more minor poisons, and also Archer Queen in the back instead of Archer Queen in the middle. Archer Queen in the middle is kind of a waste, because then I can snipe it with Princess and still get value with it. Okay, I'm in the next game against this guy. Just going to go for my Ice Spirit Barrel here. This is my favorite starting play, to be honest. Um, He goes for Wall Breakers. Just going to go for my Cannon in the middle here for the Wall Breakers, and he actually missed a Goblin Barrel, so I had to get one hit. <laughs> Perfect, and it looks like Remiele's deck. No other Wall Breakers deck really has um Skeletons in it. So he's going to be playing Minor Wall Breakers Magic Archer. Mm, this deck is really annoying, to be honest. It's just, like, tedious to play against just because of the Magic Archers at the bridge. Just going to go for my Princess in the middle here for the Magic Archer. The one thing, though, is that two Princess Shots plus a Log does kill a Magic Archer, or two Logs, or, like, Princess Ice Spirit plus a Log kills it, or Mighty Minor Bomb plus a Log kills the Magic Archer. Nice Valkyrie prediction there. Um, So you need to know that because Magic Archer is, like, the way that you lose this just by them spamming it. He has to tornado my princess up, or maybe he could go for like a log, but I'm gonna go for a log on the skeletons here, force him to use the tornado. Doesn't have anything else good for it, magic archer would not be it really. Gonna princess, okay. Yeah, that was a bad magic archer, he didn't even line it up properly, and now he has to defend my new princess. I'm gonna go for mighty miner at the bridge here in front of my princess. I'm gonna go for a goblin barrel in the corner as well, because he doesn't have log in hand. Goes for wall breakers and valkyrie, that was good, but my princess is on tower. I'm gonna go for my goblins here on the wall breaker. Hopefully my Mighty Miner kills it. Okay, not, not going to kill it because he went for the log. But I'm up 800 damage. Really good start for me. N not a really better start you could ask for against this deck. Because usually you don't get any damage until double elixir against this deck. So just getting 800 in single is perfect. In this matchup, you just want to defend perfectly and rocket cycle their tower. That's pretty much how you win it. Um, With the rocket nerf, it's much harder to do that. But basically you just want to go for goblins on their miner and then just like try to defend their magic archers as best as possible gonna ice spear here and gonna let the rest of the miner go because i don't have anything good to catch it i'm gonna barrel princess here to get some of my damage back gonna get at least one princess shot two oh wait i'm gonna log here on the skeleton perfect really good damage there as well i'm gonna go for my cannon here on the valkyrie and if he goes for the wall breakers i can just kill them with my goblins gonna go for barrel here so he can't pre-log anything gonna go for princess on the magic archer he might tornado up my princess but that's fine he doesn't that was bad by him i'm gonna let the marcher go now on the left this is looking good for me i'm gonna go for my goblins here gonna go for my log as well princess clutched up perfect i'm um, gonna go for ice spirit at the bridge make sure he can't march you're gonna barrel as well in the corner all right he's just gonna yeah he goes for valkyrie that's the annoying thing about this match is that they keep putting valkyrie in the corner for your barrel because you don't want them to activate gonna go for mighty miner here on the valkyrie gonna go for goblins to keep my princess alive gonna go for log on the wall breakers and I'm gonna go for Ice Spear on these just in case. I just didn't want to risk anything. I'm gonna go for my Barrel here as well. Force him to use the log, hopefully. Yeah, he goes for the log. If he Valkyrie, I was gonna rocket it. I'm gonna Princess here in the middle, and then I'm gonna go for Cannon so we can't march through both of these. This is pretty much game, I feel like, as long as I don't choke. I'm gonna go for my Ice Spear and then Mighty Miner, keep my Prince alive. Oh, oops. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go for my Barrel here. I'm gonna go for my Princess at the bridge as well. Keep up the pressure. It goes for Bomb Tower. Okay, he has to log. Yeah, that was a bad log, though. Doesn't hit my princess. Gonna cannon on the marcher, then go for my goblins on the miner. And he's gonna Valkyrie, I know it for sure, but... Oh, he goes for marcher. That's a bad marcher. He's gonna go for my log here. Gonna ice spirit as well. Okay, that's gonna die. Gonna go for my cannon here in the middle for the Valkyrie. Gonna go for my barrel. And gonna go for my goblins, pull back the Valkyrie. Then I'll go for a log on the magic archer. And I'm up to just so much damage. Gonna go for my ice spirit here. Gonna go for my mighty miner on the miner. Doesn't even have Magic Archer in hand, so he can't Magic Archer that. He has to Bomb Tower in the middle. This is just, like, a perfect spot for me. I don't know why he puts his Bomb Tower all the way down there. That doesn't even pull the Mighty Miner. He has to Skelly. He's gonna go for Rocket plus Barrel here. Get some Barrel damage and Rocket. Yeah, because he had the Tornado, but he couldn't tor uh, perfectly Tornado, so I get two Goblin Stabs. I'm gonna go for my Cannon here. Gonna go for Ice Spirit and Log. Make sure my Cannon lives. Gonna go for Goblins on the Miner, too. They always Miner there with this deck because they want to get a Magic Archer lineup, so that's a good tip to know. They always put their miner there. Gonna go for my rocket. I know I'm gonna take some damage here, but I know I can like survive and not lose the whole tower. Gonna log here. 
going to go for my Ice Spirit on the Wall Breaker. Going to pop the ability. Going to go for my Goblins on the Marcher. Oops, going to go for Cannon. Going to go for... Yeah, I don't even need the Log. And then I can just Rock to finish it off. Very nice win there against the Minor Wall Breaker's Magic Archer deck. Pretty tough matchup, but I managed to beat it pretty well. It's pretty much like a textbook guide on how to beat that matchup. There's like no other best way to play. Alright, I'm in the next game here against this guy. I know that he's a graveyard main, so it should be splash here. It's gonna barrel here. Really bad Phoenix by him. He put it too far back. Just gonna go for my Mighty Miner here for the Phoenix. R really, really bad Phoenix by him. That's so much damage. 500. Uh, I'm gonna go for my Goblins here on the graveyard. I'm gonna pop my ability as well. Goes for Poison. That was a really aggressive Poison. I'm gonna go for my Log, and then I'm gonna go for my Princess at the Bridge here with the Mighty Miner. Then I'm gonna go for my Ice Spirit behind, and then I'm gonna go for my Barrel on the left. I wanted the Ice Spirit behind first because I knew that he would Tombstone and I wanted to keep my Princess alive as long as possible. Nice, he didn't get the Barbell down in time either, so I get some damage on the left. So even if he tries to switch to go same lane as me, I can always switch lanes as well because I have so much damage on the left. I am going to go for a Princess at the bridge though on the right because as of now, I do want to go on the right. I'm not going to Princess the bridge immediately though because I want to see if there's a chance that he'll cycle something first. So... Okay, he's not cycling anything though, so I'm just going to go for my Princess at the bridge. Probably just going to go for a Skeleton King. Okay, I'm going to go for my Cannon. No, nah, actually, I want a Mighty Miner because he has no Tombstone. If he had Tombstone, then I had Cannon, but since he has no Tombstone, Mighty Miner is better. And also doesn't have Bar Barrel in hand, so my Mighty Miner can tank for my Barrel. I can go for Barrel here, and he has a Tornado on it. That should get some good damage. Let's go. Look at all that damage. <laughs> Look at that. What a good start. This start against Splash Shard is like perfect, and he has all of his damage on the left, so it's not really going to matter because he has to switch to go same lane as me. He goes for Ice Wizard on my Goblins, but it's not really going to do anything. I'm just going to go for my Log here on the Ice Wizard, and then... I'm going to go for a Princess at the bridge again here because the worst thing he could do is Tombstone. Okay, Skelly King's the middle, which was good, but at the same time, he has to waste Phoenix or... Yeah, he Tombstones. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go for my Mighty Miner here. That tombstone was bad. That's just going to die to my princess. Then I'm going to go for Ice Spirit to keep my princess alive. I'm going to go for my Barrel right now because he's going to Graveyard. Nice. With the tombstone popped, he has to defend my Mighty with the Nato. He has to either Tornado or Ice Wiz on the Mighty. I'm going to go for Barrel again if he Nados. Nice. He doesn't have anything for the Barrel. He only has, like, ground cards. He doesn't have a spell. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to go for Princess here on the Phoenix. I'm going to go for my Ice Wizard here as well. What? Okay. I'm going to go for my Barrel here again. No, my finger slipped it. He only has Skelly King, but I meant to put it in the middle. I didn't, I finger slipped and put it in the front, but I still got a hit, so that's okay. I'm two rockets and a log away from winning. Two rockets, two logs, something like that. I'm going to go for my princess here for the phoenix. And then I'm just going to rocket the tower once the, once this dies. Okay, I'm going to rocket now. And I want to ice spirit. Okay, and actually no, I'm going to cannon. Because... If I cannon before, then I'm I'm already two cards off of Rocket. I'm going to go for a Log. I'm going to go for Ice Spirit here. Going to go for my Mighty Miner, Princess. And then I could just go for a Rocket on the tower. Wait, no, Rocket doesn't do enough. I need a Log. I'm going to go for my Goblins here. Okay, yeah, that's game. And then I can just Rocket Log to finish off the game. Very nice win against Graveyard. This is a complete hard counter ever since the Rocket nerf, but I still managed to win. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Ultimate Champion right here, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye.